thing about the still be recording, but I don't know. I don't need to make it stop. Make it stop. Make it. It's only two things. Fucking mental. Set the pause to do this now. No. Are we recording? We don't yeah. look like that, basically. It looks like one of those sausage videos from like Afghanistan. Look, it does it. It just looks like he's put a gutter. He's like, oh my god, my head's gonna get chopped off. It is. Fuck. There are people that I know, there are people that you know. <laughs> there are things that we can do. Nothing to do with anything to do with that. It's about fucking having a good laugh. Does anybody fucking realise that if you switch it on, it makes a noise? William Burroughs, years ago, wrote about things that we saw as a machine. Are you a machine? I'm not. If you want to not be a machine, <laughs> don't can't fly. Refuse control. <laughs> you do not need control. You need you. Who is you? That's up to you. Nothing can more be said. We can cut up, we can crash up, we can make culture, we can decreate culture, and we can fuck up and become anything we want. We could destroy the planet. We ain't nowhere near. And as William Burroughs said again, we will always come back around and head ourselves off at the hills like ancient cowboys defending our own empirical vision. I demand the right to be the person I am. I demand the right to be... ...in the cafe and sometimes... Stop reading the man. Take four. Fucking hell. Take five. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Take six. Take seven. Take eight. In the early 1990s, Captain Wardrobe was an underground legend. The mysterious techno producer was notorious for organising raves and acid house parties that often descended into chaos and violence. Unmistakable in his trademark zebra skin jacket and always wearing a dust mask to conceal his identity, he suddenly disappeared in 1992, wanted by the police for questioning in relation to drug offences and illegally entertaining people. Fast forward 15 years to a barbecue where I get talking to a jobbing musician. We reminisced about the days of acid house and the good times that we'd had. He told me he was Captain Wardrobe and that he was making a comeback. I offered to document his efforts, if in return I could collaborate on his new album. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. This is the story of how I descended into an alcohol-fueled, confused, paranoid nightmare. Cut! Have you got a hat, haven't you? A hat? Yeah. For continuity. Because your hair looks different from when we first started this. Oh, yeah. What did it look like before? I could go to the home. Bubble hat! Bubble hat! This is a Idiot. journey into sound.
this this journey into sight. Um. <coughs> Should we do a film? Yes, let's do a film. All right. Hello. <coughs> Hello. What we're doing, man? Film. Yes, that's true. We are making a film. We're making a film because our angle is we're going to make a film documenting the collaboration between us and the music that we're going to produce. It's about music and stuff. It's a journey into sound. Journey into science. Yeah, that was the idea. A film collaboration type event. Like Spinal Tap. But like Spinal Tap. But seriously. Except I don't want to work in a shoe shop. Who works in a shoe shop? But to be honest, it doesn't sound like a million miles away from the job that I actually do. <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> you sell shoes? No, it's, not, it's not even that um, interesting. <laughs> Which is why I want to make films and music for the rest of my life. Yeah, man. That's what I want to do as well. I want to pay me rent. Somebody give me some money. It'd be interesting to uh, have a film that's different every time we play it a live element to it, with elements of the narrative being brought in over the top of uh, different other stuff, live stuff, live playing, live, live playing, live, yeah, sounds. well there is the, um, I forgot what it's called, like the, um, um, uh, um, trying to get in touch with them, well, I've tried to get, trying to get, I've been into them, trying to get in touch with them, I've been in touch with them, okay. spit it out, man, <laughs> so wrecked. Do you want to Guinness? Black shit this morning. Did you? I had a chod so big the other day, I'd, I've got a stick by the toilet now. <laughs> so I, I, I literally have to, dest to destroy the chod, to destroy the chod, to destroy the chod, to destroy the chod. It's a chod, it's a chod stick. To destroy the chod, it's a chod. I was you wondering what the bit of bamboo I was going to ask you yesterday, what the yeah. bit of bamboo was for. It's for, it's for the, the special Christmas chod <laughs> bamboo that you just get rid of, you just basically oh, blend oh, the chod it's not and actually, flush. You have to remember this is the beginning of the video, it's not actually Christmas, it's actually May. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> it was, yeah, it is May, honestly. Is it May? Yeah, I think, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's May. Oh yes, yeah. I forgot about that. So let's have a quick tutorial on how we're going to make this album. Well, what we're going to do is, we're going to do a hell of a lot of songs and then we're going to mix them together using this. Slags tits. <laughs> oh, it's lovely when it turns the autofocus goes off. Oh, it goes a bit blurry. Yeah, and it's just the like, lights slowly come back in again. That's ace. Is that bad, though? Oh, I can tell these days, man. <laughs> Snakes with tits. I see some slags jogging, try and get a bit of tip jiggle. Yeah. Tip jiggle. <laughs> A bit of woolly hat action. Get that tail on his tail. This is fucking stalking. We're grooming people for possible murders. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> My fucking laptop battery only lasts for a minute. It's a joke. I don't know what it's supposed to last for. Depends what you're doing with it. Dirty slide. <laughs> 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 Fucking four wheel drive cunt. 
I think the reason people have vehicles as big as that is because they've got like a little box in the back with, that they keep children in for dancing. <laughs> so it's just basically a bee jam. Yeah. It's a like frozen section. Little dancing box just to keep a, like, a small child on there just in case. Of course, yeah, the other reason is to drive out into the country to dance the child, so they need like sort of like, off road capability. Should do this in the summer because nothing brings a flange out like the sun. Oh, check those two up. Let me see those two covers again. Uh huh. Yeah, no, no, what we've been filming now, but you know, we just we like making a documentary. They look to them. <laughs> you good look. <laughs> Kill them. Have them next. Do them after the teenagers. Execute the fuck of Stop, we've got a really good close-up. <laughs> <laughs> Without the winner, excuse me. Could take this too far. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a hammer. How far is it Fuck it, okay, now. Fucking twat. Got that. Fucking send that off to the DBLA. To the cops. He's lost so much business. He has fucked it. I won't even play at the bus business. Oh, go on, get a bus through there, man. Are you on after these cuts? Yeah, I am. One, two. One, two. It's on. Get on with it, all right. Hello, I'm going to play some blues. <laughs> Oh, one more.
Puerto. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Thank you. Well, I hope this never gets on YouTube. How do you know Captain Wardrobe? Where did you meet him? No, no, that, that, that's, um, no, no, that's, that's, uh, I'm not really sure where I met him. Um, I just know him, uh, because he's, 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 he's a musician. Uh, all, all I can remember is a uh, barbecue. Do we fucking do not ask us, man? Why not? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you didn't meet him at a barbecue, did you? Oh yeah, he was, he was really pissed. He was really pissed, and um, he was uh, he was very, he was quite he was quite a sloppy character when he's pissed. But what do I think of Captain Wardrobe? Yeah, Captain changing. Wardrobe is a is a myth. He is an enigma. I would go so far as to say he is a complete cult. <laughs> I can't say that he was very fashionable. I think primarily he's a prick. I'm gonna get on with that fucker. <laughs> he's a real cheesy fucking non entity. He's a fucking liar, but he is, man. I, I wish we could close Captain Wardrobe's doors <laughs> and lock it. Yeah. 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 Bitch. I don't think he's got a real modicum of talent. I think he's a fucking hapless prick. Why is he liability? He's just a total fucking nightmare, kid. Yeah. He does provide a modicum of entertainment. And then, uh, and you see, if he was here, he'd probably think that that plane up there is uh, is uh, is out to get him. And you want that? You want that? Very good. When he's sixty, he'll be performing on the top of the Blackpool Tower. Have you ever met him when he was sober? Yes, once. Uh, but he was on the way to the pub to get pissed. Captain Morgan. Yeah. He's done nothing in the last few years, has he? I mean, has he? When was the last time he was successful? You tell me. Is you know in your own time, obviously. <laughs> you know. Have you got, have you got a pass, pal? I just right. Well, fuck off then, eh? Don't turn the fuck off. Fuck off. It's just a concocted story. It's just bullshit, man. Why do you feel it necessary to make a film? Because I hate that shitty office job in IT. I'd rather work in the media. Then this is oh well, I'm too old for Big Brother, probably too clever. Um, and this is my shot at the big time. I think if I make a film, it's entertaining, then. I can get a job in the media, like working for the BBC or Channel 4, or even making films in Hollywood. I fucking hate my job. It's just, I can't imagine how anybody can actually be expected to spend 30 or 40 years sitting in an office that's little more than a fish tank, but instead of water, there's just like this recirculated, re-oxygenated air. I mean, since I've been working in the office that I'm in, I've, I've felt shit just about every day. I don't know if that's sick building syndrome, or what, just the, like the pressure of this shitty, fucked up society that we live in. Blair's Britain, or well, Brown's Britain as it is now. No, it's just a fucking mess. I guess Captain Wardrobe stands out, I guess that's why he's interesting. Agenda or not, he's, um, he doesn't subscribe to sort of working in an office and sort of going to like retail parks at weekends just to sort of buy TFTs and Expensive video cameras. Okay, I think we'll conclude there then. Thanks very much, Roger. No problem.
This night was the first occasion I spent any real time with wardrobe. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm all right. Okay. Yes. Good to meet you. How you doing, man? All right. I didn't get the mic, but I thought I'd get some cover and stuff to sort of like walking around like this and like focusing on your rubber and things like that. That's beauty, yeah. Hello. Hi. This is Roger. Pleased to meet you. Filmmaker extraordinaire. I don't know who this flag was. I wasn't expecting it to be there. He said that they were fuck buddies. Why should one have fuck him though? Reflections in the rain. Oh, yeah. the of the yeah. Round and round and my head Round and round and my head We are listening to Captain Wardrobe. You are looking at Captain Wardrobe. You are looking at Captain Wardrobe. This is Captain Wardrobe in his finest state. What you do is you take some of this stuff, black hair care product, white guys. You take this stuff and you put it on. And you put it on. Yes. Yes. Put it on. <laughs> it smells like coconut. It is coconut. It's pure coconut oil made by people who care about people. I may come from a very overprivileged family. Or people who like to uh, use um, all sorts of illicit substances. Now the police come round and maybe Hammer on the door and go, what are you doing? My message is to you. Please leave the fucking kids alone, eh? Correct. Cut. Okay. Do you know where we're going? What we need to do is get to a uh, offie on the way as well, please, mate, so we can get some boozy boozies. What? We're going to a house party and it's going to be a very, very nice do. Will you, how much are you going to charge us to get over there? Whatever it says on there. What, can you give us like a fiver? Can I give you a fiver? <laughs> well, no, you know, give us a fiver over there and then we'll give you an extra stop quid if you want to no, no, stop them. Call it six quid and we'll be fucking lovely doubly. Just turn the meter off and we'll do. We'll turn the meter off and I'll have to kick this out because it gives another job. <laughs> What's going on? Everything's digital, digital. We used to do deals and have a bit of a laugh. Well, take me to the like, nearest fucking off license and we'll have a boogie. I need to put a warning out to you guys. Um, you smell like coconuts. Yeah, I do. Um, a guy I know just died of cat. Let's buy some beer. Be careful. Okay. How are you doing, my friend, again? Fine, how are you? Yeah, very well, very well. Um, Right then, special offers. Uh, yeah, everything. Extra special offers. <laughs> now, I might be wanting a bottle of vodka. How much can you do me a bottle of vodka for? 760. Nice. Fiver? If I buy some beer? Can you, can you do me a £15 deal? Um, what beer do you want? I don't know. What do you Will want? Buy a case of that. Quid. 12, 12 quid. quid. Add the vodka in. Call it 15? Oh, come on. 15 quid, man. That's a good deal, man. Sure. Give me a bottle of vodka for 15. And I'll guarantee you I'll get you some salt. Put some bar, man. Roger? He's good. Look at that. He's 20 quid. 20 quid there. He's got 30 quid here. He's not pissing about. Well, okay. We're going to charge him. Yeah. What are you going to charge with? 22. Call it 20. 22, because I've not got 22. Call it 20. Honestly, I'm not. We're not making that. What are you like? <laughs> Honestly, we're not making that. Tell me that. We only make it. Captain Wardrobe, I'm supposed to be a legend. Give me on lunchtime. You've <laughs> got money there? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, no, I need that. Well, that's, that's home time. Then. What's that? Yeah, no, I'm talking about. Near work. Look at us. Look at your silhouette. Your, your face is like a silhouette against the window. It's looking really good, mate. Yeah.
Yeah, that's good. Last back in I'm a bit concerned because they, they, it, 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 I give you twenty pounds in the off license, and it was twenty-two quid, and you've not given us any money back. I will give you a tenner, you can toss it. Just give me a fucking tenner. Right. Have a look. Right. Well, all right. Did I not give you, you a tenner? Well, you mean the leather jacket? Roger, oh, so just give me a tenner. Right. Okay. Cut. That was when I started to think maybe everyone else was right about him being a cunt. Can we go now? I'm getting wet. Well, that didn't take long, did it? I've got a hard on. You got wet. I mean, that was quite good. We've almost had sex. Tell you what, you stay wet, I'll have a hard on, and then we can probably. Whose house have we gone to? Tell you what, we was... Fucking twat. Okay. twat. You know this, don't you, gentlemen? Never take a bottle of vodka into a party without anybody knowing about it. Never ever. It's always the omission rule. Shadowy underground figure. I think it might yes, be over <laughs> It's in a bag. Okay. Would you like to see it? Uh, and he left it. <laughs> okay. Right, right. The bastards. Bring I'm your gonna friends. fucking string them up, the cunt. I'm sorry to be in pain. Right. Liam just Liam found them next door. Yeah, I've been back to a party, that's all I've just Yeah, well, it's a good thing. Could you look that back access for it? Where In the kitchen. Um, In fact, now under here, we have drinks <laughs> and a camera. Is this video evidence or what? Yeah. Where's Eagle? Oh, you haven't bothered the neighbours, have you? I know! Stupid. Are you cooking? What's going on? It doesn't work. Oh, food! Camera! Nice to meet you, Camera! Roger! 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 What's going on? Nothing, man. Nothing's going on, you know. We've got HM revenue and customs here, yeah, film. You think that's what they are? Mm, no, probably just a mate on the camera. Right? What? Does this, make, does this make good television? I don't know what so you're on about. I'm fucking getting pissed. You, does that not just say something about this fucking generation? Is that it's about a fucking camera and some cunt getting Do you fucking know what this is? pissed? Do you know how it why is he here? Because that's what this generation thrives on. People aren't real anymore. Mate. This is this you is what it's about. Is, guys? They're fucking grabbing yeah. them on fucking. I'm 38, man. That's what it is. It's fucking big brother. It's, like, it's like it's like you go on a fucking program. What's the name of celebrity? Your generation we're looking at. What? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? I mean, hello. Come on, hello. Oh, yeah. You're the generation. You're the new one. You're coming through. That's the past thing here. And we sat and sat. Welcome to Generation Idol, your host. My interest lies in finding, obviously, the truth. Well, hold on a second. What's, I Hang asked you on. to interview me for the film, so what's what's all your interest in the truth here? If it's well, my interest in the truth that's a big deal. You're worth nothing. You have nothing to go for. Um, if you want to be really talented, you don't need loads of people to come and tell you you're really talented. You just believe in it yourself. And at the end of the day, you don't need a fucking wanker in a pub to tell you you're really talented. You really don't need anybody out of anywhere to tell you you're really talented. What you do is you walk around and you go, Christ, I'm, I'm quite talented, I'm, I'm quite a talented person. 
It was quite strange. It doesn't have to be like music, it doesn't have to be anything. You just walk around and go, I don't need anything. anything. Ladies and gentlemen, www.myspace.com slash the duel. Check it out. The duel. The duel was a good one. I, I think we, we should do no, that. I'm actually. asking a serious question. Oh, is that a real MySpace? No, but I think you could set it up. I think we should. Well, I'm not on the door. The so <laughs> Liam, can I ask you a question? Do you have a problem being filmed? Um, why would you ask that question anyway? Based on the statements you said earlier about like your generation being focused on the camera, or the the success of your generation yeah, being. Well, it's evident I've got no choice, really. Isn't it? <laughs> no, the 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 one. Okay. This will probably be on YouTube that. next week. No. So that really making the film. This this is about a really bell. fucking maybe as if you'd get a job. Oh shut up. Well, there we go. He's he's in his late thirties, I believe. Is he early forties? Is he late late thirties? He, he's yes, same age he's, as us. He, we, we, he hasn't had a job as such. No, no, it did work out. It was alright. I got me fucking wage. I done me job. I've worked in two jobs. And that was good enough for me. What the fuck is this bullshit? Let's act up to the fucking camera, shall we? Right. Would you like me to get me fucking cock out now, would you? Yeah, get, 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 get no. his cock out. Come on, let's get his fucking cock out. Well, I personally right. wouldn't. But, uh, fucking like. And if he beats me up. No. So at least we can get him on the fucking end. He's got to do what way? No, okay. fucking no. Here we go. No, There's no. sexual yeah. harassment. That's a fucking, fucking proof. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be honest, that's, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, so I'll, I'm going to cut here and cut. He told me the party was to celebrate the start of the album. It was supposed to be a good opportunity for all the collaborators to meet each other. Oh, oh my oh, god, Fucking oh, cunt! Fuck. Yeah, fuck! Fuck off! I'm going to fucking kill you, you and can we concentrate more on the music? So you both obviously liked the Orb, the Apex Twin, Future yeah. Sound of London, Loop Viber. Not Orbital, because Orbital were shit and overrated. Well, in what sense? It, well, the, the, the way the media jumped all over them. Do you well. find that sort of quite frustrating, the way the media tends to jump on people? We all fucking hate the media, but I guess that begs a question where I'm at. Anyway, anyway sorry, yeah. <laughs> Nice! Go in, go in, go in. Is that the leg? Do you want to fucking laugh? 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 Hey, you'll watch out. It might be a bottle of beer there. Eh? Hey, watch out. Hey, 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 Cause you're good on film, man. You know, I'm gonna be a fucking film star. You're gonna be a film star. Are you? So are you worried that I'm gonna have a gun? Why are you worried that I'm gonna have a gun? Cause I don't be injured, basically. Well, if I had a gun, would you be injured? You put your stuff uh, on. Yeah, cause I would stop you. Stop, my fucking balls, will you? Stop it. Fucking. Cold. Why am I stopping the balls? So I'm on the floor. Just stop it. Oh, drool, man. Stop it. How it? What's the matter? Can you? Can you? There's nobody get angry with them, yeah. I've been putting me on the floor and I fucking get angry. I might have a bit of a day with it. But what I'm doing is I'm no, just trying to... I'm bigger than this, man. Come on, let me get... Let I'm, me I'm, I'm trying, player. right? Because Come on, there's a lot of pressure. I'm growing up. I know, you know, I know. I'm 37 years of age, mate. I, I know think. you... Right, I Please know. take your hands off. Like, can somebody like reassure me that this is cool? I think it's cool. I've got no problem. We've had to leave a few people out. I'm getting scared. All right, I'm going to talk to. Look, 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 watch it. If people start, I'll get fifty fucking cops. Come out the door and then and then what happens? I eat like junk food. Let's make a quick send of the toilet. Yeah. Okay. How much? Well, have a piss then. Go on. Go for a piss in the arm. I fucking miss Doctor Who for this shit. The whole point of the film when I started it six months ago was to document the collaboration, the musical collaboration between me and Captain Wardrobe. I mean, he'd, he'd had some sort of musical success in that post-Acid House boom in the early 90s. Why didn't you argue about what you're arguing about? This, this actually...
This Cushies. is not an argument. Cut. This is just a fucking genuine statement. When are you gonna fucking do a day's work in your life for fucking once? Because quite frankly, you've done fuck all. There's people like me, we're going out there, we'll fucking do our work, and there's you, you've done fuck all, you piece of fucking shit. Uh-huh. Where's your it, fucking answer? Doesn't, eh? it make it, doesn't it make you feel proud, though? Doesn't it make you fucking proud? Alright. Oh. You can. Yeah, you wanna fucking smack me on the fucking chin? Because you fucking work your fucking shit off. And your family have worked their shit off. And my family have worked their shit off. So you could live your fucking nothing life. They work their shit off. So you could live your fucking little pathetic fucking life. I think that's a bit of a fucking night. Is that what it is? Do you wanna know what it is? Is that what it is? Do you wanna know what it is? Fucking shit. Do you wanna know what it is? Do you wanna know what it is? Ah, fuck off. Do you want to know what it is? I don't, I don't know what it is. I do not care. Do you really want to know what it is? What is it? Really, really want to know what it is. They're kicking off the big step. Oh, you want to stop the music from kicking off the big step. Do as much as what you can to stay a fucking live. When what the, the people fuck turn is that there, supposed to mean? Get a fucking job, you cunt! Are we still filming? Fuck off. This is for real. You can fuck off. This is for real. Who knows what's real, you fucking prick. Fuck you. Don't you run away from me, you dick. Hey, dickhead! What are you running away to? So? You know, when it's Sam, <laughs> tremendous, check it, caution. What you're doing in life? I've got a fucking shitty office job in IT. No, so I'll then, sorry, cut that. What am I doing in life at the minute? I'm kind of, I'm making a film, I'm a filmmaker. I'm a documentary filmmaker and journalist and a musician. And I've got like someone who's telling me that like Captain Waterhouse's a uh, what what is he? I mean, I don't know. Some sort of fucking renegade. Uh, what is he? An idiot. He likes to be able to manipulate every situation, manipulate and control every situation that he's in, no matter how inconsequential or petty it seems. Do you like his pants? Nah, I haven't been looking at his pants. I bet you have. I bet you looked at his willy. Yeah, it was quite I, I hard, wasn't it? I saw him as well. Have you been looking at his pants? I did. I looked at his bum. And once again, we shall Would now like to touch meet me on Thursday. Would you like to touch my breasts? I haven't so far, so there you go. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> so. How did this film change from its original premise? It kind of became a documentary about Captain Wardrobe, about him on his own and not really about the music or the collaboration. <laughs> I'm, very, very I'm not joking, I'd really like to touch your breasts. You can't touch my breasts. <laughs> you said, why can't I? Because he's never stopped poking me all night and touching me. He's just a bane. Just, just fucking let him touch your breasts. Well, well not, even, uh, not even for journalistic reasons, I couldn't <laughs> touch your breasts. It's <laughs> good going to film. Journalistic reasons? Yeah. No. Stop no, laughing now, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. No, 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 I'm with him. No, it's, she's not. She's you not you want me. me to, don't you? No. Well, we're since friends. you show me outside punching we're the punch bag, you look yeah. 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 Are we fuck bodies or what? Are we fuck bodies or what? Absolutely. That Absolutely. Wanna... <laughs> no. Roger, no. No, you're not. <laughs> well, no, I'll just get this straight, you don't want me to touch your breasts. No, you can't touch your breasts. No, I no. can't. I can't touch your breasts, but you don't want me to touch your breasts. I don't want you to touch my breasts. Alright, okay. I don't want you to touch my breasts. Shit. <laughs>
Gotcha. Come on. Maybe we should stop. Can we cut now? I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe you yeah, should. Should we? Yeah, I think we should. Is that where I'm coming yeah. from? Yeah, I think the taxi's Would coming you? now. Like, no. You think the taxi's coming now, do you? I'm, I'm really, really, really. As, as a filmmaker, like, in your own right, why do you think? But you need to be asking these questions. Well, I don't know. I mean, probably the, the huge amount of alcohol I've had to drink. You've been drinking alcohol? I got, I got that pistol you were asking for. I don't even know who the slag was. I hardly spoke to her. If my penis were to work, it would be much better than his. I think it, 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 well, I mean, I don't know if it's longer, but it's certainly wider. <coughs> I mean, I've got girth. I mean, it, it curves around a bit. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I know about the G spot and stuff like that. Jesus. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, seriously. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> well, yes, I'm serious. What? <laughs> no. Cut, like... cut, 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 cut. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe that she was more interested in wardrobe than me. I mean, I've got a job for fuck's sake. I've got money. I can show a girl a good time. What have you been doing of late? I don't really want to go into that. Let's just cut that. I think maybe, you know, I mean, if you kill me, and then I kill you, then... Well, everything's workable. <laughs> You know, Why don't you just fuck back. each other? Why don't you fuck off? I'm the cameraman, baby. <laughs> Why don't we kill him? Fucking knife, you know. Should we do? Taxi! Have you got that thing running again? Yeah, of course it's fucking It's always running, isn't it? It's always running. The camera's yeah. always on. It's always on. It's always on. Except one, I can't think of anything to fucking ask you. <laughs> That's fucking crashed. It's fucking crashed. You couldn't even record a DVD on it, you fucking useless cunt. Yeah. Mr. Fucking IT. Uh, don't push your fucking laugh. You're having a fucking laugh, aren't you? Can you switch it off, you fucking backward? It's fucking, you've killed us. I've killed it, that's right. Bl blame other people. That's what people in IT normally do. You fucking killed me, fucking computer. I nicked your last Dutch fucking chocolate shortcake. You little fucking fiddler of kids. <sighs> Better than being a fucking... puppy nonsense shit fucker. <laughs> yeah. You fuck... Do you know what it is? Puppy nonsense baby <laughs> shit fucker. I don't know. I wasn't expecting anything like that. Uh, well, no, I'm not sure about it. I don't know, right? Um, like, what is it? Yeah? Like, what are you talking about? Is it fat? Oh, my fault. Oh, we're fat? Oh, I, I, I only have one. I, I think we're fat. You. I carry it. I, I, that is true, like. No, I would say this. Listen, I, I carry a gun, so what's weird about a stapler? You have a gun. And it was slipping down, so that was just. Glock. <laughs> Where do you keep it? What's going on? I keep it under my bed and uh, flight tents. I've held guns. I've shot people. Have you? I'm not going to answer. Uh -huh. No cut. You're going to have to attack me. Is he Irish? I don't know. He says what's he's not, he's what's his surname? Bobcat and bullshit. Wardrobe. Well, what's his real surname, not his fuckwit surname? I don't know what his surname is. You never asked him. I think in the grown-up world where you know oh, people actually yeah, pay God. taxes and do things, he's give a real name. There's probably no record of him. He's probably like a fucking immigrant. You know these fucking migrant workers. He seems fairly educated, but I'm just trying to establish what a surname is. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not it's not fucking rocket science even for you, you fucking thick cut who can't even copy a DVD. 
Ball, ball, black sheep. Have you any wool? What's the significance? You're a fucking sheep. How am I a sheep? How are you a sheep? I've lost my lucid thought now, actually. Um, fucking, you've lost your lis- lucid thought. Yeah. What, what, I asked you a fairly straightforward question, right? What, I, do I know Baba Black Sheep? What's his surname? You're on the spot, Rog. You can't resize. You've got to give a direct answer to a direct question. I would like to know Captain Wardrobe's surname now. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. I, I found Captain Wardrobe an amusing way to sort of refer to him and, and describe him to other people and uh, it worked for me in terms of the musical collaboration so I never bothered asking him his real name I should have broken the nail Right, that the world is now all over and that the only thing's left is how to be how you want to be I need to be in the other Let's say, world let's say, place. it's all gone Let's say, outside of this house the fucking world is destroyed I What mean, would you do? Would you be a hippie or a chava or a fucking Shut up, Bunny Bob, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it kind of, it kind of puts it. You know, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to put it into a new perspective for you. You know what I mean? You just go on and 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 on. I'm going to bed. Wardrobe told me she'd been kicked out of a flat and no one had seen her for a while. Got an obsession with this light. Are you wearing blue eyeshadow? <laughs> fuck. No, I'm asking you. No, fuck. No. I'm asking you a perfectly. I'm asking you a perfectly reasonable question. Are you wearing blue eyeshadow? No, I'm not. Rog? I'm not wearing fucking blue eyeshadow. Why would you ask that? Did you want to ask something specific? I don't know. <laughs> I might think I've cut it. I'm being followed by this car. Yeah, I thought so. I must have seen the camera. He's gone. I've come to the wooden doll on North Shields Fish Key to see Wardrobe play. What's your name? What's your name? Um, I am um, Liam Fenderbahn. <laughs> What's your association with him? Um, nemesis. Are you trying to say that I've got some sort of connection with live music? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I, 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 I think you've got some sort of problem. Um, well, it's been mentioned. If you've got something to say, say it in my face. Uh, 
I think you're being deliberately evasive, and I think you're associated with... Captain Wardrobe is a, is a myth. I'm number uh, 99, <laughs> which is very strangely a packet of flakes, which is very good. Lobster Thermidor bird is very good for you. Hollandaise sauce that's gone off isn't, it's not good. Makes you poo. Very come out like, you know, I like having a piss after a meal, but not out of my ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, that's bad, you know, that's, uh, you know. <laughs> what? It's been a long day. Um, it started off at the hairdressers, and the bastards did this, and my arm was like completely. No, I'm not happy with that, man. I'm you not happy with that. The, the bastards, well, they gave me that balm, that lotion, and I just said, "Fuck it," you know. It's like, um, it's blue stratos, brilliant. And, uh, it is. Well, you're quite in the good. shop, mate. Just... Fantastic. That's what it's all about. See, that's real filmmaking at its heart. Say what you just said to me. What? The, no, I'm not. No, because that would be wrong. And like, what? The, like, we could just fucking take over that shit and just do it anytime we want. What the fuck? Bitch. No, you know. Fucking come in here in my fucking night. I mean, I'm watching nightly. Right, I'm having a bit of a laugh. You come in here. Who, who do you think? Who the fuck do you think you are? What's the sudden interest in sports all of a sudden? Well, I am a fucking bonus variety, fucking flanker. Oh, I think that's absolutely outrageous. It's a slur on my personality. No, I think you, you, well, there was something that you wanted to say, wasn't there? <laughs> okay, press pause. You ready? Yeah. Motherfucking bitch. That's not what you said before. Isn't it? Anyway, you're my bitch. This is my fault. You're working for me. <laughs> In what way? Well, I've got the camera. You, you, you jump. I pull these strings. You pull my fucking strings. Yeah. Are you fucking taking the piss? I know you think you're the arch manipulator, but it's just something like this. Oh, you've got no fucking rights over me. You can't have any fucking. Well, you're like a dancer, ding, right? ding, 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 ding. Yeah? You okay. want to give me some it's fucking. Distant. Look at him. Look, play with his tape. You didn't see that's nerves, guys. That's nerves. Look at him. Um, Play with him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ooh. 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 The the fucking <laughs> mental. He's fucking um, not right. I tell you, he's been following me well, around for uh, fucking uh, weeks. And I don't know who the fucking guy is. I don't even know the guy. Who is this man? Fucking like in a, weirdo, man. You're like in a Martin Scorsese film, are you? No, I'm not in a Martin Scorsese. <laughs> you were, you were the one in the. Are you going to just? All right, I gave you a jacket. I liked you, and I, and I met you in a barbecue. All right, and I gave you a jacket and shit. You know. All right, just leave me alone now. Just get the fuck, get the fuck <laughs> off me. <laughs> fuck you. I tell you, I'm, I'm really fucking serious. So serious as cancer. No, I'm fucking serious. No, I'm fucking serious. Jeez, you can use the camera over there. That's a fucking mess. Um, What's a Monday, Brian? Mundane. Mundane, mun oh, that's good. Because it sounds like Monday, Brian. Because hmm? I've got an idea for this, which is to be Mundane, Brian, Mundane. You know, like, well, we all kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm good like, really, like, like, fucking pushing it with the Mundane, the Dane and the Brain. I could sing it, but, like, uh, then again, I'm shy about uh, singing little instruments. Turn the page. Should we get back to the actual uh, matter in hand? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens when day to day keeps getting in your way? What happens when you can't see beyond your TV screen? What happens when everything's wrong? When you just can't let go on and your life becomes a fucking crazy fucking dream? See, when? But it's gaps. Well, 
Well, yeah, There's yeah. nothing in these parts. That, that, that was my original draft, like, um, that's not my final draft. Well, I don't know how to read nothing. No, I really like that. It was anyway, fuck that shit, we're going to let this guy do his interview. You still filming? Yeah, so I'm still filming. Still filming? Still filming. Yeah. We're going to do an interview for Binge Magazine. Our interviewer is, over to you. What's your second name, Jeff? Williams. Jack Williams of Binge Magazine is interviewing myself. He does have a huge cock, by the way. Captain Wardrobe. Uh, about. Um, what's he interviewing us about? I'm not sure, though, Royce, you know. What? Very about cool. what? About what he's interviewing us about, you know? Let him do the interview and let's just yeah, see what um, happens. Yeah, but it could be fucking, like, you know... Jesus, you always, some you've always got fucking... some fucking problem, haven't you? You've always got to, like, yeah, try and manipulate the situation. Like... Yeah, but it could and be fucking... fucking... Just shut the fuck up and let him ask his questions. All right, all right. All right cool. Uh, what's the film about, to start off with? Roger, what's the film about? Uh, it was a bit weird. Uh... Because I was like, well, who is this fucking guy? I, I really didn't understand who the fuck he was. He was like fucking just out of the nowhere and everybody's going, oh, LAX, have you not heard of LA fucking X? And I was like, well, I've never heard of him before in my fucking life. You know, he's done a couple of gigs. And then we cleared... Um, anyway, next question. Loads of fucking, like, I suppose, fucking few gigs with me. Okay, um, next Well, we were chopped off for every gig we've ever done. We've been fucking... Totally fucking yeah, well, there's killed. Fucking reasons for that, isn't there? Yeah. Yours. Fuck off, yours. Nah, fucking yours. Anyway, man. anyway. You fucking no. You're the fucking one who's fucking Cut. got the government connections. You're the EDS man. You're the one who's got the I fucking. Don't fucking EDS you're the one anymore. who's got the fucking computer fucking like virus fucking shit going through my. See why you went through. You're the fucking one. Like yeah, next time. question. Um. Okay. Would you consider this a mockumentary? You mean like sort of spinal tap? Uh, yeah, in a sense, I. I well, this I, guy's a fucking cliche. Have you seen him? He's like some sort of Johnny Rotten Ripper. I, I would Second that. fucking Z rate fucking Johnny Rotten Ripper. I am. Um, if I could put this into context while Roger's bored and starts looking away like a fucking bored. He can't even be bothered to fucking film this shit now. He's so fucking bored. Um, I'm the, these pipes are making some noises. It's fucking them tracking us, mate. Yeah. Um, who's them? When Hiroshima and Nagasaki went off. Right? Oh, fucking next uh, question. Basically, Japan turned into a culture of like copying and uh, and bettering. And basically, when I was fucking like uh, basically abused, I turned into a fucking culture of copying and bettering. How does this contrast with your previous work? Did you bring the gun? Oh, I left the gun at my mum's. What are we going to use? For what? <laughs> what are we going to use? Well, in terms of my previous work, it's, it's visual, whereas like in the past I've kind of done music. Boydrum, anything to say about that? Your What's previous the work. How does this contrast with your previous work? It's good. <laughs> it's got structure, it might get out there, someone might actually fucking see it and hear it and shit. Fucking bitch. Fuck it, I'm gonna fuck it. I'll tell you <laughs> what, man, that's just outrageous. That's wrong. My whole point of my, all my fucking efforts... But the whole efforts, point of all your, everything you've ever efforts, fucking done... Everything I've done and put in everything that, in my you're fucking You're the only person that ever fault. fucking listens to it or watches no, it. No, it doesn't matter. It, the, the point yeah, is that it's what? in the ether, and the it's point is that if you ether, feel enough time, and you can do enough of what you do, someone will hear it and appreciate it. And sometimes you get voices through the wilderness that say, well, that's, I really like that, thanks a lot, mate. You know, that was good. And I, and I heard this, that's what fucking human beings are supposed to be doing. Instead of fucking killing each other and fucking, like, you know... Yeah, wandering around going, I'm going to rob you, kick your head in, I'm going to be nasty to you, I'm fucking fuck you up sexually, be a fucking terrible parent, what I'm going to be a fucking, <laughs> like a fucking no, and then just fuck, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, what, what I think I've got to say, it, it would be really, really beneficial if you didn't divulge from the subject that much, mm. so we'll just go on to the next question, if that's alright with you, right, um, what made you want to make this film? Ultimately. Ultimately. He's desperate for attention. Yeah, I think you're right. But only only bad attention. Uh, you're laughing like, but it's probably not a million miles away from the truth.
No nice. fucking comment. Okay. What a surprise. Yeah. We're through becoming Captain Wardrobe, has it somewhat taken over your ego, or were you the same person to start off with? I've been drinking since I was seven years old. My mum and dad abused me as a child. Not in a sexual sense, and I'll give them that. Uh, but they abused me by taking away my power to be the person I could be fully in a supposedly normal universe. And uh, that's where you thought the formation of Cap Mordor came about? Yeah. Because we invent other dimensions in, with, with which we can live with. And Captain Mordor was all, always an idea of um, space-time travel within an idea of imagination rather than the idea of like massive amounts of space through the fucking like Stephen Hawking's bollocks. Like actually your imagination is a dimension and every consciousness is a dimension. So. I thought it was because you sat in your wardrobe with a torch and a porn mag wank enough. Next question. Let's, um, let's say from an, uh, a dice man ideology, would you say that uh, Captain Wardrobe is an, an expression of a minority self, so to speak? I'd say it was an experiment. I'd say it was a, an experiment in personal identity because of a fact of lack of love and reasoning within a hateful and world war scenario society. Yeah. And masturbating, I, I think, masturbating um, in a wardrobe. Yeah, fuck it. I'll knock your fucking out. Next question. There's not a bullet big enough for you, boy. <laughs> You're right, there isn't. Uh, Nothing can fucking stop me. There's this yeah, other question. Yeah, right. fucking. Who, right, right. who else was involved in the project? Probably Roger. Is that but a trick? Me? No, no, I, I didn't know what was. Can I just say, like, just put county bollocks. All right, let's write a list. Jack Williams. What the fuck's he? Ah, oh, some cunt. Oh, uh, you. <laughs> yeah, Violin. that's me, Joe. <laughs> Violin Chong. What the fuck did she do? Shall we do the advert now? Do a redo thing. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're doing the advert for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move. Sorry, darling, we're doing like filming, but do you want to be part of it? Or? No, because I'm going to bed. It's my room, so fuck off. No. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I'm fucked. So I'm going to bed. Look at that. Can we just do a quick ID for redo? No! Fucking camera! Another month, another haircut, another hairstyle. Yes. Welcome to Whitley Bay. Shitley Bay. Shitley Bay. Right, what are we doing here? Well, basically, now we're having a little bit of a celebration of the end of Captain Wardrobe. We're going to kill, finally, Captain Wardrobe off. Kill for Captain Wardrobe off. Kill for Captain Wardrobe off. Kill for kill. For. And uh, by burning the symbol that is Captain Wardrobe, the zebra jacket, we're going to pay final tribute to the messiest idiot on the planet. Uh, get rid of the whole alter ego completely out of my life. So we're going to burn the jacket as a symbol of that. Uh, psychologically damaging aspect of my life that's been plaguing me for the last 20 years. But what about the album? That's a Captain and Wardrobe album and if you kind of like oh, yeah. burn sort of the Well that'll be the last thing but this is a symbol of the, the beginning of the process of the end. Mm. Hip hop album and then death. What the fuck is that? Now I'll fuck me lighter up. Just blow on it. Stupid. Is it, yeah, is it not the flint? I should have brought me other lighter out. You got a lighter? Yeah, I don't smoke. Pissed out of his head. Pissed out of his head. Welcome to Willie, mate. Welcome to the culture of fucking suicidal tendencies and alcohol abuse. So we haven't got a lighter. Oh. Yes! Well, what we've got to do is keep the fucker alight while I spray that thing. Do you want to do that right into the camera? <laughs> I guess that's flammable. I think that's quite flammable. <laughs> do that again, that's fucking funny. <laughs> what the 
<laughs> What's going on YouTube tomorrow? Are you absolutely sure you want to do this? Mm -hmm. You really, really want Captain Wardrobe to die? He's going to die. badly. I love the smell of WD-40 in the morning. Come on, you fucking swat. You fucking wasted it on that last. Uh, just gassing it. It's just a flint, it. there's no fucking flint. Yeah, it doesn't matter as long as it looks. It doesn't matter, uh, it's not gonna fucking land. Ah, <gasps> oh, you fucking swat. It's the light. It's the light. It's the light. It's the last fucking beast. What if we need to use a fucking jacket for another shot? And you used to wear that at raves with like fucking giants and fucking people on acid and shit like that. Went up a tree for me. I'll do it again. I'm getting a little fucking I forgot to press record. Burns quickly, there's only three minutes of tape left. <laughs> Serves you right. No, happens when you play with fire. Yeah, that's fucking clever. Let's add that to the list. Shit, I stood in a fucking puddle. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Got spectators and shit. That's the fucking biggest crowd you've ever had. What's that? Biggest. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five people, including him up there. Oh, don't do that, we're out of tape. Careful it doesn't blow up. Death of a legend, eh? Fucking gone. Over with. Done. Yeah, fucking Goodbye. done. Goodbye. Done's the right word. Fucking done. Nothing but dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. No, I think would have been better. Well, and guess what the spunky bit is? Me? Yep. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Fitting end to cut and wardrobe penis with a fucking burnt end. I've just had a phone call off wardrobe. So I was in the middle of my fucking Sunday dinner. Um, sounded very distraught. Said he got on a bus and ended up in New Biggin. Would I come and pick him up? Personally, I think he's putting it on. As I've mentioned before, he's just a fucking attention seeking cunt. Slag.
fuck are you doing in there? Because you act like one all the time. Uh, <laughs> Saying this, we hear one of the world on the beach. Let's have a world on the beach. There's one last shot I want to get. Happiness is sad. You self-abuse because you are depressed. You are depressed because you aspire to be happy. It is a self perpetuating trap. An addiction to aspirations of wealth and celebrity. A never ending cycle of self flagellation due to the psychologically pre ordained designed program called behavioral social engineering. The only real security is the need to punish thyself due to your inevitable failure. It is a rigged game. All identity becomes public relations, an exercise in ideological manipulation. Nothing is sacred, everything is a lie. Therefore, any real meaningful achievement is impossible. You are not being allowed. Take the drug of an enforced choice. Ask yourself, should you go back to sleep? Or whether really you were ever awake?